We should roll film right now Yeah Cause you're the main star right now Yeah Got the best of me, love is the recipe, here is the rest of me, yeah. You know we were meant to be, you are my symphony, yeah. We started low, now we're above. Yeah. They hate it, but we move through love. We conquered, we made it. Half on got faded. If it's your intention to join the mission, look better. So before we start this video, I want to give you guys two main reasons why I work with Splice and why I use Splice. Number one, as a music producer, singer songwriter, film composer, I have infinite amount of sounds and creative tools and elements, MIDI files, samples, instruments, sound design, whatever I need, I can go to Splice and I can find something. Basically helping me expand my artistic range and also give me starting inspiration and mid-flight inspiration to finish the song or whatever I'm working on. As a matter of fact, majority of my drum kits are from Splice. And number two, Splice works with all kinds of producers in the genre, Grammy award winning producers from all over the world. So they really pride themselves on working with the people that actually created this music industry, the producers, the singers, the songwriters, the creators. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. If you like the song that I produced, recorded and did the vocals to in the beginning, give me a thumbs up. And guess what? I use Splice to make that song. And let's go ahead and do the walkthrough with how I use Splice. Let's go. It's a new, new, new year, a wonderful start of the new year. And I know you guys are already jumping in there creating great songs. I know I'm creating a lot, man. I'm actually producing a lot of songs and I'm working on two films right now. One with Warren Zai, the producer, he's producing the film, but he also produced all the American Pie film and all of the Final Destination movies and Jingle All The Way. And Terrence Green from Step Up is directing it. So I'm having fun over here. I'm being creative. I'm doing Foley for the film and I'm scoring it. I'm re -recording record mixing it hey we being super creative around here and splice is a tool that's been helping me in that creative process today our video is sponsored by splice for those of you who don't know when you use splice it's royalty free you can use it you can make songs you can tweak it i always recommend that if you are going to use the samples do something to it do something special to it put your pizzazz on it you know give it something a little special eqing um, filtering, same thing, dynamic processing, um, any type of cool effect, just try to make it your own, but it's still royalty free, which is the beautiful thing about it. And as I said in the beginning of the video, it Splice just helps me continue to expand my artistic range. It's a really cool situation. You have, and when I say it's a lot of samples, it's a lot of samples, a lot of sounds, one shot loops. It's crazy you can also lease to own apps like vocal synth i purchased vocal synth through here and y'all we're not gonna waste any time we're gonna jump on the screen and we're gonna do the walkthrough and logic and pro tools and show you guys how i made this song i'm gonna go through the instruments and we're gonna go through some of the vocals and how we created to get that overall sound so let's jump on the screen okay so here is the session, well, the production session rather. And as far as this record, I produced it in Logic Pro X, just the basic foundation of the song. And then I took it into Pro Tools and did some extra production and I recorded the vocals and did some vocal production. I actually really liked the song. I vibed to it. And also I added additional samples 
from Splice into that Pro Tools session as well as I was vocal producing and just kind of just organizing and arranging the song, which I love Pro Tools for that as well. And Splice, you can work with Splice within any DAW you have. As you guys can see, I'm working with it in Logic. And then I'm going into Pro Tools and I'm able to work with it in Pro Tools too. So it's not DAW specific. It's samples, MIDI, none of it. You just, just get to work. So let's talk about the track a little bit here. The KSMR is actually from Splice. It's a D major. Nothing special. I time stretched it to match, um, to match the tempo of 95. But then what I also thought was cool is I added those, the music box chord from Omnisphere. Now all of this is, all this is, is me just, you know, playing the root. I did something different with the root bass note. I played an A instead of the G bass um, for the root note, but it just gave a dimension right there. And it's just the same chords over, a D major, and then to kind of just bed with this. You guys see it's nothing. Just real simple. But the bass line, I had to get a little funky with that. Ro look at those root notes, it's gonna be the same. You're gonna have that right there. You got that A and go down to that E. That B natural. That D, finish off with that slap. And we did some additional stuff in there. So overall, the track sounds like this. The main part of the track. Added some cowbell. So all the drums, including the kick, is from the Oliver, which is in Splice as well. You can check that out. But so let's talk about Splice a little bit. So when you go up to Splice, let's do the app. Let's show you guys the app. So when you go up to Splice and you're looking at your apps or whatnot. And when you go to Splice and you got the desktop. So y'all make sure y'all click the link, get your 14 day free trial and start downloading now. So and as you guys can see, some of the top producers in the world work with Splice and Splice is trusted by many musicians around the world and a partner with many musicians around the world. It's a tool that's built by musicians and record producers and engineers. It's a great place to grab your sounds and resources. So y'all be sure to check out Splice. Here's a cool thing about Splice. One reason why I like Splice as well is when I download any, you guys see, I've been using Splice for a while. Shout out to my homegirl Cakes who put me on it years ago and I started using it back in 2017 somewhere around there and um, as you guys can see as soon as you download anything with Splice well when I downloaded Splice it automatically created this folder it archives and separates the sounds as far as like by packs by presets and as you guys can see everything is here MIDI files everything it samples one shot and as you can see let's just give it a shot here the songwriter starter, right? So this is where the sample I got, this is where it was from. So we go to pop, but it gives you the keys, it gives you the tempo, and it gives you the name of it so you can match up whatever you want to match up. You want orchestral, everything is organized. Hip hop, chill, and for example, with, let's go to the Oliver, right? If you look at the Oliver sample pack, the drum loops are separated, hi-hat loops, percussion loops, one shot, the kicks are separated, clean, dirty, everything. It archives and separate everything. But let's go ahead and get back to the track. So since we got that out the way, let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty of Pro Tools. So here is the song right here. And boy, did we cut some vocals on this record. But let's talk about the the kits that I use for this after, you know, the logic session, the things that I imported into Pro Tools to kind of just keep the vibe going. And the first thing was one of the Mogul Lo-Fi riser, risers. And then we also used the Taylor Parks vocal riser, which is insane. And we're just going to show you guys how everything sounds together. And then we also used a a crash which just fit, fit so perfectly with this song so 
I didn't really write anything down. I just pretty much just freestyled on top of it. And then I went back and I cut the vocals and did the vocal production. But all of this is the vocal production. We use the heck out of Splice. You guys see, we have the rise of the guitar, the drum kit, the sample, bass sample. We pretty much rock the entire Splice. Let's play the song. And you guys give me a thumbs up. And also comment below if you want to know how I vocal produce, how I mix the vocals. Just comment below if you want to see that type of stuff. But yeah, Splice helped me through this process. And let's go. Who is your old fan right now? Yeah. Cause you're the main star right now. Yeah. You got the best of me. Love is the recipe. Here is the rest of me. Yeah. You know we were meant to be. You are my symphony. Yeah. We started low now. I really had fun recording these vocals on this song. I heard those chords from the KSHMR samples, the um, songwriter starter. So if you're a songwriter, that definitely is a kit that you probably should definitely check out. And I was like, man, I'm really feeling those chords. And I just started playing additional chords on top of it. And I heard the bass line in my head. Then I proceeded through with the songwriting process. Um, you know, the songwriting process for me start with the production because I produce all the songs that I sing and all the film scoring that I do. I write everything like just right in my head at first. And then I go back and be like, OK, now let's put some structure behind this so we can either, you know, whether it's copywriting it or whatever we have to do or whatnot. So this is it. And if you guys heard the the percussion part and the hook is actually from the Oliver as well. So you guys heard the Oliver um, 80s joint, like the kick, the, where the drums come from here. <laughs> that is the sample here. So it sounds like this. And I also went back in, y'all, and I got some additional instruments from these kits right here. And I'm going to show you guys the folder right now. So I grab an additional from the Midnight Electronics. We got this loop here, which is a music kit loop. And this is also a D major. This is a guitar right here. We filled it out, y'all. In the final process, we went in. We um, also went in with the Mogul. We got the riser from here. We also got a loop from Glowfy, the guitar here, D major, as you guys can see. So if you listen on the vocals, this is what was going on. And we tweaked those too. We tweaked those under the vocals right here, so. So basically what I did was is I used the guitar rig over that sample too. And as you guys can see, it comes from the mogul kit and also the Glowfy kit. And I just, I cut it, this little sample here, I didn't let it continue. And I also use this kind of full run here and I cut it off right at the tail. We got the beach ball of death there. But this is how it sounds without it. And I use what you call Beach Dirt, where it got the Replica GR, the Chicago amp right here, and the VC76, which is a version of the 1176. And we just tweaked it a little bit. 
and it just sounds so good, right? We use the heck out of Splice. You guys see, we have the rise of the guitar, the drum kit, the sample, bass sample. We pretty much rock the entire Splice, but I'm still, I haven't even scratched the surface of Splice. Splice has many, Splice has so many sounds. So you guys be sure to check it out and sign up below. Well, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Splice is an amazing tool. Be sure to click the link below so you can get your 14 day free trial of Splice. Go ahead and jump down there and start downloading and working on songs and creating. That's what this is about. This is about creating. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Archie Beats. And don't forget to be great and create. This is your boy Archie Beats and I'm signing off. Archie Beats on the beat. Yeah.